Hi, I'm Scott Hornberger from Troy Community Radio, 107.1 WTJN, and welcome to TV5's coverage of Streets Alive in beautiful, historic downtown Troy. Join me as I'll be visiting with various downtown businesses. Hornberger with TV5, and I am in downtown Troy's newest business. It's called Prim and Proper, located in downtown Troy, and with me I have Roger Prim, correct? That's correct. All right, he is the owner and operator, and Crystal, you are the uh, ma assistant manager. Okay, excellent, or uh, should I say, uh, I don't know, assistant manager, is that what we want to call you? Manager. Manager, manager. okay. Yeah, assistant owner, but I'm the manager of the facility. Yes. Well, this is a terrific store with a lot of unique items, unique finds, and uh, uh, Roger, maybe tell us a little bit about what folks can find here at Prim and Proper when they visit your store. Uh, we have all, we have antiques and we have uh, unique items and uh, we have some collectibles and uh, we have uh, a uh, 5,000 square foot uh, building, and uh, then we have a warehouse that we store things in that we buy. And mainly, uh, we are buying things. Uh, we're buying up estates and uh, enjoying uh, getting to know new people in the community uh, because uh, we've only been here a short time. We opened on June 3rd, right before the Strawberry Festival. Now, what, what made you get into a business like this, Roger? I mean, if you, when folks come in the store, I mean, you will find a lot of interesting, unique items all throughout the store. And it, to me, it seems like it would take a very talented eye to uh, find some of the items that you would find in here. How'd you get into this? Well, uh, when we moved here uh, back in 2010, uh, my wife, Phyllis, and I, uh, we, uh, had historical homes and in the past and we bought a house uh, here in Troy where we don't have much storage. So I had a lot of things that I had collected for more than 50 years and I knew that uh, eventually I would have to bring them here and begin to get rid of them. And somebody had suggested that maybe I just take it to an auction house in Plain City and uh, I had seen things go for not much of anything at an auction house before, so I didn't do that. And I found a building next to my sister-in-law's restaurant, Kay's Hamburger Shop in Troy, and I bought the building and then renovated it. And uh, as I say, we opened on June the 3rd, and we do have a lot of interesting things and unique items, and Crystal is our buyer and uh, she buys the things that she thinks will sell. And today, um, maybe it won't sell the way we buy it, but uh, Crystal knows how to repurpose things and uh, make them exciting. And some of the things that I thought maybe would be here for a while are already gone. So she knows how to do it, and I'm thrilled. Well, Crystal, tell us, how do you do it? Well, I go to flea markets, I hit garage sales, like Roger said, we buy estates, people just call us, want to get rid of things, and just constantly keep my eye open, buy online, you know, anywhere and everywhere, just constantly searching. Now, Crystal, you have an extensive background in this kind of business, maybe tell our viewers about that uh, background. Okay, um, I have enjoyed doing home interior for many, many years. My goal was to you know, have a business like this for 15 years, and I was a stay-at-home mom for 15 years, but now I get to spread my wings and fly, and um, I was part of the Three Word Sisters for almost a year, and it was a great opportunity and privilege to be a part of that with the girls down there, and now here I am. 
Well, excellent. And the store looks great. Again, it's prim and proper, located in downtown Troy. Crystal, how about an address and phone number, please? Okay, our address is 115 East Main Street, and you can reach us at 937-524-9165. Thank you very much, Roger, Roger Prim, and Crystal from uh, Prim and Proper, beautiful historic downtown Troy. Stay tuned as we'll be visiting with more businesses throughout the downtown Troy area. I'm Scott Hornberger with Troy Public Access Channel 5, and today we are out and about visiting with businesses here in downtown Troy for Streets Alive that uh, will be going on uh, later this evening. Uh, with me, I have Lisa Bauer. She is the owner and operator of the Mayflower Arts Center. And uh, Lisa, thanks very much for having us here today. Well, thank you very much, Scott. I appreciate this. You know, it's really amazing what you've done with the theater. Uh, you know, this is no longer the Mayflower Theater of past, you've actually turned this into a real living art center. Talk to us a little bit about that. Well, we, uh, we fell in love with the building a few years ago and we uh, actually purchased the building from the Teichers and we just knew instantly when we came through the building that it needed to be much more than just a theater. It wanted to go back to its original creative roots and being a performance art center. So. Uh, we're working towards having not only visual arts, but also performance arts. We have a stage all the way in the back of the building that we're, we're renovating in process now, and we're doing things such as um, small theater camps and, and theater activities, so smaller scale, working our way up. And we have the visual arts, and hopefully soon we'll have music arts and other sorts of arts so that we're a combination total you know, arts center, not just visually a gallery space or, or a, an arts education place. So. Now, uh, there's a second floor also yes. filled with all types of artwork. Tell us what folks can find on the second floor. Well, located on the second floor is our Artist Den Gallery, and currently we have about 20, 25 local, mostly local artists that are exhibiting work of two-dimensional and three-dimensional visual arts up there. We have a couple that are regional, some from the Detroit area, some a little beyond. Um, and anybody's welcome. Any it's kind of the diamond in the rough up there. People are never sure when they go upstairs what to expect, but when they get upstairs, they're, they're blown away. It's a beautiful gallery space, lots of little nooks and crannies, and some wonderful, wonderful fine art up there. Awesome. And, uh, you know, uh, you still show movies at the Mayflower, but uh, talk to us about what kind of movies you uh, show here. We like to show movies kind of of the art bent, of the indie emerging filmmaker bent. Um, we, we really want to have a mission of not really showing blockbusters. You can go anywhere and get a blockbuster, right. but come downtown and see something that's going to kind of change the way you see the world when you're done watching a movie with us. So, you know, you'll see things that you won't typically see, you know, in a regular theater or even, you know, at the, the little art or the neon. We'll, we'll do something slightly off the cuff uh, and, and really kind of want to promote some inspiration and, and some, some provoking thinking. So. Any uh, events coming up here at the Mayflower Art Center for the month of July? Absolutely, we've got a few things. Uh, one of our big events is gonna be the Stop Making Sense 30th anniversary re-release movie. That's July 4th weekend, it's the 4th and the 5th. That's the Talking Heads documentary that kind of set the standard for concert, uh, concert films. And uh, we have other exhibits that are happening along the way. So anytime you wanna find out more information, just go to our website and you can always Google us and Mayflower Arts Center, like us on Facebook and find out there. Excellent, Lisa, thank you uh, very much once again for having us in. Sure, thank you, my pleasure. I'm Scott Hornberger. We will be visiting with various other downtown businesses right here on TV5. I'm Scott Hornberger. We are traveling around downtown Troy today, visiting with various 
downtown businesses. And right now, we are at one of Troy's newest local eateries, the Little York Tavern, right here in downtown Troy. With me is Don Ledoux, owner and operator of the Little York Tavern. Don, thanks for inviting us over today. Thanks for coming, Scott. Always a pleasure. Well, listen, uh, you know, uh, one question that a lot of folks ask me about the Little York Tavern, how's the food? Does it taste just like the food uh, with the, as it does at the Little York Tavern in Vandalia? And Don, how would you answer that question? I would say absolutely. We spent a couple of months in their kitchen, myself and a couple of kitchen staff, just uh, learning their procedures, their recipes. We even uh, purchased the pizza deck ovens with the stones so we could make sure it's the same type of crust. We actually get our crust from the uh, Vandalia store, so right. everything is spot on. Same ingredients, same recipes. Well, I, I can speak on your behalf myself, Don, because I've had just about everything on the menu, the pizza, the subs, the wings, and let me tell you, the experience, uh, the uh, the recipe, uh, the food tastes just like the Little York Tavern down in Dayton. Uh, you'll want to check it out. Uh, located at 116 West Main Street in Troy, across from the courthouse. Uh, Don, you also have entertainment on the weekends, correct? That's correct. We try and do uh, an early show and a late show with various local artists. So, And it's kind of hard to tell you what that is because there's so many of them. Right. Check our website. It's usually on there. And the website? LittleYorkTavern.net, and there's a link for the Troy location. Excellent. And uh, you want to talk about specials. Uh, these are some real deals, and I'm just going to uh, uh, bring up just a few of them. Uh, on Mondays, all day, you can get eight barely breaded wings for only $3.95. Eight wings for $3.95? What are you, crazy? Well, yeah, they're as big as a turkey leg, too. <laughs> it's almost like a fried chicken dinner. It almost is. It almost is, and it's, and it's absolutely awesome. On Tuesday, this is a big draw, 50-cent conies. Yeah, we do a couple of hundred every Tuesday, so yeah. and the kitchen's pumping them out. I mean, it's good. It's good quality food. It's not the cheap stuff, you know. It's got the uh, chili and the cheese and the onions on it. Whatever else you want on. And you've got two types of chili that you put on the conies. Hot and mild. Hot and mild, and uh, these aren't just the little tiny hot dogs either. These are actual big ballpark franks, fifty cents each. You can't hardly beat that. On Thursday, they bring back the wing special, uh, eight barely breaded wings for only $3.95. And some other lunch specials include on Monday, uh, the hamburger for $5.50, pork tenderloin on Tuesday for $6, uh, chef salad on Thursday for $6.75, and on Friday, the classic sub special. You can get a half sub uh, for $3.50 or a whole sub for $5.95, and that comes with chips, correct? Chips and a pickle spear. There you go. Uh, so if you need a quick lunch, make it Little York Tavern right here in downtown Troy. I'm Scott Hornberger, along with Don Ledoux, owner and operator of the Little York Tavern. Come on by and visit soon. I'm Scott Hornberger with TV5. Our coverage of Troy Streets Alive continues on TV5. We've been visiting various downtown businesses here. And right now, I'm at the Troy Family Bike Shop, beautiful historic downtown Troy. I'm with Mike, the owner. And Mike, thanks so much for having us in today. Oh, absolutely welcome, Scott. Thank you. Uh, I understand you're celebrating 25 years in business. That's quite a milestone. Yes, this is my 25th year in the bicycle business. I started in 1989 with Kettering Bike Shop in Dayton, Ohio. And in the year of 2000, I purchased uh, the old Kettering Bike Shop and renamed it Family Bike Shop here in Troy. And I've been downtown here for three seasons and really enjoying things. Excellent. Well, congratulations on the 25 years. And uh, let's talk a little bit about your business. And as we were looking around the store, uh, you have bikes of all types, uh, both new and used. And, you know, we have some beautiful bike trails all throughout Troy and Miami County. Uh, if you uh, have been looking to uh, start riding, maybe enjoy some of these beautiful trails, this is the place you want to look for your next bike. Uh, uh, we always say shop local, buy local, and it's no different here. Talk to us a little bit about the new and used uh, equipment that you have here. Well, we do carry both new and used bikes for people of uh, various price ranges, 
If you're just looking to get started in the sport, I think we can get you into something probably in the couple hundred dollar range. If you're a little more advanced, looking for something, uh, say, in the $1,000 range, we do have that, that market also. And basically, we're just here to help. We repair all makes and models, and we just like people. We like talking to people. We enjoy people just coming in and talking to us. Everyone in would get a free bike path map. These yeah. are new out for uh, just a couple of months now. This is a new thing. And stop in, and I'll be glad to give you a free one. Well, talk to us a little bit about that map. Uh, does it show the different bike trails throughout the area? Uh, what, what, what are we looking at there? Yes, this map is uh, put out by the Miami Valley, Ohio Bikeways um, folks. And what it is, is it's a waterproof paper map, so it won't hurt if it gets wet. And what it does is it covers all the bike trails from uh, Piqua, Ohio, all the way down to Cincinnati. You can go east to uh, Xenia, Beaver Creek, Jamestown. And there's different places that you can park along it to explore. It's not just a bicycle trail. It is a multi-user trail. Um, you can walk on it, hike on it. Uh, you can uh, rollerblade, walk your dog. You it's just a, it's a user trail for people to get out and have fun. Excellent. Now, maybe you have a bike that's just kind of been shoved away in the, uh, the garage. You know, maybe it's time to take that thing out, uh, uh, dust the cobwebs off of it, and more than likely it's going to need some repairs. If you have a bike that's in need of repairs, you can do it right here at the Troy Family Bike Shop. Talk to us a little bit about your repair work, Mike. Yes, we repair all makes and models, everything from flat tires to tune-ups to uh, complete tear-downs and overhauls. Um, Tune-up prices start in about the $60 range. Um, uh, this time of year, we're probably about two to three days out from uh, having repairs done. Let me give you my hours here. Sure. It'll be uh, Monday through Friday. We're open noon to 8, and Saturdays we're here 10 to 5. So 339-1634 is the phone number. Excellent, and it's located right across the street from the Mayflower Art Center, beautiful historic downtown Troy. Very quickly, because I know you've got a customer in here and we oh. want to get to that. Uh, but, you know, as I look around the store, yes, of course he has bikes, but I see accessories too. Yeah, we carry a wide range of accessories from helmets to seats, bags and computers, uh, phone holders. You know, anything to make your experience more pleasurable, that's what we're here, you know, here for. Um, stop in and see me. I'll be glad just there to talk go. to you, help you out in any way I can, and uh, I hope to see you here at the uh, Troy Family Bike Shop. There you have it. The best thing you can do is just stop in and check it out. It's a beautiful shop, and again, we always encourage our viewers and our listeners on Troy Community Radio to shop local, buy local. I'm Scott Hornberger with TV5. We are here at the Troy Family Bike Center. We will be uh, visiting with some other downtown businesses as well right here on TV5. Mike, thanks so much for having us in this Thank afternoon. You, Scott. Thank you very much. You Enjoy, Troy. I coverage of Streets Alive continues here on TV5. I'm Scott Hornberger, and we are at the Troy Bulk Barn right now, beautiful historic downtown Troy. With me is Debbie Char, the brand new owner of the Troy Bulk Barn. Yes. And uh, talk about items that you can get in bulk. You've pretty much got it all here, and a lot of unique items as well. Uh, maybe in a nutshell, tell our listeners or, and our viewers exactly what they can find here at the Troy Bulk Barn. We are basically your downtown grocery store. You are. We have pretty much everything here except for your produce. Um, we have a fully stocked deli with meats and cheeses, many of which are uh, either nitrate free or gluten free. Um, we have a large bulk supply variety of things, whether it be snack foods or candies or flowers or baking goods or what have you. We do all of that in bulk. Um, and then we have a large variety of gluten-free items, right. a large, large variety of gluten-free items from baking mixes to snacks and um, pretzels and chips and that kind of stuff. Um, and then, you know, too, we have a lunch counter. So we do a great lunch, um, probably the most reasonable lunch you'll find downtown, very filling. 
um, sandwiches, soups. We have a famous burrito. Um, we do great salads. So it's, you can kind of get everything here. I've eaten here before and talk about the burritos. You talk about a large portion. Holy smokes. I mean, I'm an eater, Deb, yeah. <laughs> and I can't finish your burritos. Yeah, they're, they're a good, healthy serving of food for, um, for a very reasonable price. And we just want to make sure that people are, you know, getting their money's worth and, and getting full up at lunch. And it's more important for you to eat more at the earlier part of the day than to have a big meal at the end of the day. There so we try to take care of that for everybody. Now, something else I noticed here in the store, uh, you have a, a very unique... Um, little coffee bar over here of uh, different coffees and such. Talk to us about that. We have about 12 different varieties of coffee. Um, they're all locally roasted and we've got several different varieties of decaf. Um, some of the flavored coffees that people are fond of like Jamaica Me Crazy and uh, Heavenly Delight. Uh, Scottish Grog is really popular. Ooh. And then we have some dark roasts and medium roasts and light roasts and low acid type uh, coffees but they're all uh, roasted here locally and they're sourced from all around the world and it's a good product and we we sell it by the pound and we can grind it or you can buy the bean whatever makes you happy awesome now we're kind of standing in an aisle here of uh, different types of candies uh, you've got monkey munch you've got uh, peanut butter pretzels uh, chocolate mini pretzels my favorite where is the almonds the chocolate covered almonds oh, yeah. Oh, or milk chocolate. Yeah. Good stuff. Uh, you know, talk a little bit about this shelf here. I mean, you've got a large variety of, uh, this is my favorite aisle. Mine too. <laughs> <laughs> uh, everything that you see here comes in bulk and it kind of satisfies everybody's craving. So Absolutely. you've got your pretzels, you've got your uh, trail mixes and your, your different snack mixes and crackers, but there's a large variety of milk chocolate candies and dark chocolate candies, gummies for the kids. Uh -huh. um, and we have six different varieties of popcorn. So there's all kinds of stuff here. And we do a lot with the nuts and the you know, sesame sticks and that kind of thing. It, the whole area is just, there's something here for everybody. You know, something else that you're doing here at the Troy Bulk Barn that no one else is doing, and the hot summer months are here, mm -hmm. folks that uh, walk around downtown are always looking for ice cream. Yeah. Guess where you can get it? You can get it here at the Troy Bulk Barn. Talk to us about your ice cream. We carry Pierre's Premium Ice Cream. Um, it's out of Cleveland, and it is absolutely out of this world, and we have a variety of flavors. Um, I, you'd be hard-pressed to find somebody who couldn't find something in there that they didn't like, uh, from coconut pineapple apple to nuts oh. about buckeye um, we have a heath toffee crunch we've got great um, two great sherbets uh, one is a whole of fruit a mango and the other one's a blueberry pomegranate but there's a wide variety of ice creams here and they're delicious and we hand dip everything and we serve them in what we call barn size scoops you get a huge portion a single scoop is two dollars and it's huge well, you can't beat that, so you can you can get it in the bowl, or if you want to go out, wander around downtown, get a cone. Yeah, absolutely. A regular cake cone or a waffle cone, your choice. Nice. Yeah. Very good. Debbie, thanks so much for having TV5 here to talk about your store. Again, it's the Troy Bulk Barn, beautiful, historic downtown Troy. Give us an address, a phone number, and uh, maybe exactly where you're located. Maybe explain to our viewers how they can find you. Okay, it's a Troy Bulk Barn in Delhi, 4 West Main Street. Uh, we're located between a roundabout books and the fountain. Okay. And uh, our phone number, if you want to call ahead for your lunch order, it's 332-8001. Thanks again, Debbie. Thanks, Scott. I'm Scott Hornberger. Coverage of Streets Alive continues in just a little bit. You know, Home Comfort Gallery is having a huge flex steel recliner sale. And let me tell you something. Wow, you talk about comfort. Check this out. Ah, I think I'll take a nap right now. TV5 coverage of Streets Alive continues. I'm Scott Hornberger, and right now we're at the Home Comfort Gallery in beautiful historic downtown Troy. And with me is Diana Begley. She is the co-owner and interior designer here at the Home Comfort Gallery. Diana Thanks for having us here. You're welcome. Glad you could come. Absolutely. And, uh, you know, we were talking a little bit, and you were informing me that you are now a Norwalk furniture dealer. What does that mean? Uh, yeah, that's it's really uh, a wonderful thing for us to bring on into our store. We felt like we were ready. 
we got past uh, 2008 and we're still here. So we feel that uh, we can up our game just a little bit and uh, do more interior design. So Norwalk is a company in Norwalk, Ohio. I don't okay. know, a lot of people don't know that, but it's up around Sandusky. And uh, a coworker uh, here, she and I went to Sandusky uh, to the Norwalk's uh, plant and uh, we were able to take a uh, factory tour and then also training so we would know what Norwalk is all about. And as you'll see, uh, it's got style, it's very chic, and it really fits in with my interior design. And uh, so everything is made in Ohio. It's all Ohio made, even the wood is, uh, wood products are made in Ohio by the Amish. So uh, there's only a few, maybe a handful of items that they use, such as staples, nail heads, a few things like that that they have to buy in Germany or other countries. But the majority of it, 70%, even the fabrics, is made right here in Ohio. So and we're really proud to feature that. Excellent. And so many people, you know, I don't want to say complain, but they always say, you know, you can't find anything American-made. And, you know, not only are we talking American-made here, but we're talking about right in our own backyard, right here in the Buckeye State. That's right. And we're really proud that we can do that. We're sure. really pleased that we can offer that. So if you want to keep jobs in Ohio, in America, then uh, come to Home Comfort Gallery and Design. And, um, you know, I will work with you if you need help. If you don't need help, that's fine, too. <laughs> but right now I'm working on uh, several projects. Uh, okay. Today, this morning, I went to PICWA and uh, measured windows. And I'm looking at uh, doing all of their window treatments. So... Not only do we do in-store in interior design, but we go to the home and we do window treatments, drapes, and we have them custom made. So it's, it's a full uh, service interior design business. You know, not many furniture stores have an in-house interior designer. And you not only have one, you have two. Uh, that's correct. Yeah. And uh, we're really uh, pleased that we have such uh, good help. Uh, we, we are very fortunate to have um, our salespeople, our interior designers, and also our warehouse people. They do an excellent job. We get calls all the time about yeah. uh, how nice the guys are, what a good job they did, how respectful they are uh, when they deliver the furniture. So it's from the time you come in the door until the furniture is in your home, we take very good care of you. Well, I'll tell you, I've been a customer of the Home Comfort Gallery for a while, and you're exactly right, you guys. I mean, even with the delivery, because, you know, I live uh, on the second floor of an apartment, and I uh, bought a, a recliner here, and I was like, oh, how am I going to get this thing up into the apartment? Yeah. Hey, no worries. Jim and the gang did it for me. That's right. That's right. They will take it wherever it needs to go, and uh, they're very courteous and respectful of, of your home. So we're really pleased. And you talk about quality. Uh, Home Comfort Gallery uh, prides itself in good quality furniture like Norwalk, Flex Steel, Serta. And speaking of Flex Steel, you've got a pretty nice uh, recliner sale going on by Flex Steel. That's correct. We have um, a power base, which yeah. a lot of people are going for the power. That's what and, I have. Uh, yeah, you can get, you like it? <laughs> I do like good, it. Good, good. Well, um, $6.99, you can get a power uh, Flex Steel recliner for $6.99 or a, just a regular handle operated you can get for $5.99 so uh, that's a very good savings it's very a real good. 4th of July uh, summer sizzle savings there you go yeah. very good and uh, that sale will go on through the month of July then uh, yes it will be uh, until we have no more recliners yeah <laughs> Hurry while selection lasts. Right, that's right. right. We have leather and fabric. Yes, you do. And uh, uh, they're all down in the, uh, the basement of mm -hmm. the uh, Home Comfort mm -hmm. Gallery, the lower level. Uh, a huge selection, but at those prices, they're not going to last long. So you'll want to make sure to come to the Home Comfort Gallery, 105 West Main Street, beautiful historic downtown Troy, right next to the courthouse. Uh, uh, Diana, uh, phone number, hours of operation? Uh, we are open... Friday, Saturday, and Monday, 9 to 5, and Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday uh, from 9 until 7. We're open 
uh, till seven, three nights a week, and we're closed on Sunday. Terrific. Diana, thanks so much for having us. It's been a pleasure. Thank you very much. All right. Again, we're at the Home Comfort Gallery, beautiful historic downtown Troy. This has been our coverage of the Streets Alive program here in beautiful historic downtown Troy. Stay tuned for more.